These are millworms. <gasps> it cracks. Ah! Can you hurry up? What? What? What is it? Is that? It's unicorn meat. Girl, what? Guys, we are devolving as a species. This is a claim I'm pretty confident in. Now, through my scientific observations, I have come to the conclusion that within 10 to 15 years, the human child will need constant visual stimulation, otherwise they will not survive. Now, you might be wondering what could possibly bring you to such a conclusion. I'll tell you, children's entertainment. Now, if you haven't been a younger kid in the last 10 to 15 years or don't have any younger siblings, you might not have any idea what I mean by that. But if you go watch a modern children's TV show, it's like they are actively trying to give you a seizure. Every kid's program from TikTok to TV to YouTube seems to use constant audible and visual stimulation to render the child incapable of looking away from the screen. And the YouTube channel of Kali Nuanez is a perfect example of this. A TikToker who made their way to YouTube who uses some of the most obnoxious special effects I have ever seen on this website. And today we're gonna be watching one of her videos in the name of science. Extreme bite, like, or nothing challenge. Whatever that means. Please subscribe. Today we're playing bite, lick, or nothing. I'm here joined by... Steven Cher. And... Topper Gill. My boyfriend. Woo! All right, so to just really top off what is already a terrible video, the guy I covered who just wastes food by pouring stuff out onto his counter, yeah, that's her boyfriend. With each round, we have envelopes. You pull either bite, lick, or nothing. Topper, what are you doing? I'm hungry. No, no, we're It's playing. candy corn. Haley, my assistant, say hello, baby. She's gonna give us our first envelope. All right, here we go. Lick! Nothing. Oh! Yeah, so like I was saying, you could consider these videos a touch over edited. I mean, my god, every three seconds it's a new sound effect and a new clip. I know a lot of people really like this kind of editing style, but to me, it just proves that you're not funny. If you have to rely on loud sound effects to be humorous, then you're not humorous. Steven, what are your guesses? Now I don't have to eat it, so I don't care. You both have to eat a thousand year old egg. Oh! This looks like cookies and cream eggs. Steven, just smell it, just smell it. Oh! <laughs> oh. Alright, I'm gonna crack my egg. Ew! It's yeah. not even white! Alright, so I'm pretty sure these are just called iron eggs. I guess the easiest way to explain it is an internally seasoned boiled egg. I mean, I will never understand these grown adults who are willing to embarrass themselves by acting like they don't know about basic things in order to entertain their child audience. It's the same sort of concept with YouTube pranks. It's like your videos are dependent upon your audience believing that you're stupid. Okay, I'm gonna cut the middle. Oh. Look at that. Okay, Topper, you gotta go first. I go okay, first. Okay, fine, I'll, I'll go first. Okay, ready? I'm gonna lick it. Oh! oh, that was bad. Well, while he's taking his time, I have a joke, actually. What happens when you tell an egg a joke? It cracks. It cracks. Ah! Can you hurry up? Come on! You know, I was honestly considering telling you in the beginning that you probably shouldn't watch this if you're easily stressed out. And it was gonna be a joke, but uh, now I'm thinking I should have said it. It's just non-stop screaming and loud sound effects. And this is just how all kids' channels are these days. I was only half joking with what I said in the intro. In 10 years, I'm worried to see what children's media is gonna look like. It stuck to my teeth. Good job, babe. Do you want another bite? Don't talk to me. For this next one, I'm gonna let you guys decide who gets what. Ah! No! <laughs> what? Steven got nothing again! Have fun. This is real! Oh my gosh, it's dried up fish! Check this out. Why yes. would you do that? Because all this is is bread. Mm, that's not bread. If I hear this metal backing track one more time, I think I'm gonna throw my PC out the window. I mean, my god, at least when most people edit like this, they have some variety. They're just reusing the same effects over and over and over again. 
Yeah, I can't eat that. I'm actually a pescatarian. That means you only eat fish. <laughs> All right, guys, I have to bite it. Oh! Sure you don't want to trade? Trade. All right, trade. Oh, uh, pickled ginger. Okay, we can deal with this one. You'd like me to go first. Go ahead. Lick it. Don't touch my food. Popper, stop taking ten years. Oh my gosh, it's taking so long. Can you imagine living next to these people? I mean, they both do TikTok for a living, and all of their content is just screaming. I think I'd have to move. It's all about biting it. Three, two, one. Lovely. Love it. Ooh, it's a little spicy. I like spicy. What? Bite! Nothing. Nothing. What no. is this liquid, hell? It's bird saliva. Wait, what is it? Bird saliva. The spit of a bird. How did you get the bird saliva? Don't ask questions. You don't want to know the answer. <laughs> How is it? Okay, so I mean, kids are dumb, this is undeniable, <laughs> but if your child believes that you could somehow source multiple cups of bird saliva and can't just recognize this as milk, I mean, at that point, I think you just gotta get rid of it and try again. What? What is it? Are those shrimp? Yeah, these are little baby shrimps. My cousin was part shrimp. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Nothing. You get it? <laughs> There's nothing. Reminds me, I have another joke. What do alligators drink before a big race? I got this. What no! Why do you always have to ruin it for me? You asked. <gasps> it's Gatorade! What is that? Oh my gosh! Is this a gator? It's alligator. I did not even know my joke was relevant. Now look, I'm I'm all for people expressing themselves however they want to, for the most part. But is it possible this girl could maybe just express herself a little bit quieter. I mean, come on, it's Christmas Eve. Just trying to get a video out for you guys, and I'm actively losing my hearing. Here we All go. right. Three, two, one. Mmm, that's actually pretty good. What? Ow, ow. That's disgusting. Get it away. It's about to get really gross. What? What is it? Is that? It's unicorn meat. Huh? Girl, what? It's really not bad. It tastes like ham. Here we go. Oh, what is that? That looks disgusting. I'm going in, coach. Here we go. Mm. Woo! That's spicy. Am I on crack or were those just not like canned raviolis? And then do kids really not know what spam is? Once again, if your child cannot recognize that it is spam and not unicorn meat, I think it's time to just start over. Oh, is it spicy? Wow. Oh. You're not getting nothing for you. Yeah! Yeah! the best for last. Right, guys, this is the last round. Oh no. These are millworms. <gasps> So she freaks out over canned raviolis, but has absolutely no issue downing an entire colony of mealworms. You know, I can't really say that I can make sense of that decision personally, but hey, everybody's got their preferences. You know, it's been quite some time since I've been this happy that a video was over. That was honestly one of the worst videos I've seen in probably the last month. Literally not a single redeeming quality about anything. This is an example of what bad YouTubers should strive to be. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.